coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got something that came in an exotic nudes box. Go to exoticnudes.com and use the coupon code the ramen rater and get yourself a discount. Hey, so we've got Kylo brand chicken. Yeah, these are. I always thought these were from Hong Kong, but I guess they're from China. And before you even say it, yes, there's a difference. Ask any person from Hong Kong. <laughs> You'd be like, Hong Kong is not China, Hong Kong is Hong Kong. Seriously, it's just like Taiwan. There's a big debate all of a sudden. Is Taiwan a country? Ask anybody from Taiwan. They're gonna say, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, and by the way, Taiwan, number one. That was a little phrase I learned the last time I was, or act, was it the, no, it was the first time I was in Taiwan. So there was a guy playing some, some online game that was like a team game. And he was in Taiwan and there was a Chinese guy playing too. He wasn't Taiwanese though, he was a Westerner. But there's a thing in Taiwan that if you wanna really infuriate somebody from China, say Taiwan number one. And <laughs> this guy, it, it, that's why this whole thing got popular with Taiwan number one, because the guy who was the other player who was Chinese flips out. I mean, he's like screaming, yelling, having a fit. Alternately, if you want to make Taiwanese people angry, say China number one. But I think a lot of it's just, you know, competition. I don't know. Yep. I was also told, you know, it's like, ah, this one has, uh, the blocks have kind of seized up, or the, the powder. See this? It's kind of like solid. That's okay. You're not going to go crazy. You're not going to die. It's not bad. You'll also see, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oil. Sometimes you'll get an oil sachet and it's all white. That has to do with temperature. Pifey. It's Friday, yeah. Let me give this a stir real quick, allow that little noodle block to kind of find its way back into being not solid. There we go, we got three minutes on the clock going down now. So today I'm doing three reviews. I did three reviews Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. A 15 review week. For me, that's pretty rare these days, but I guess these are new days now that the kids are going to have school. So it's like more productivity. Um, starting when she goes back, I'm going to just bear down and there will be no reviews that week because all I'm going to be doing, baby, are top 10 lists and top 10 lists the way I used to do them where I'm standing in front of a green screen. So for all of you who've been going, what are you gonna do about the green screen again? I don't like this new format. You will be appeased soon. Just bear with me. I think in one week I'm gonna try to crank out maybe five top 10 lists. We'll see what happens. Those top 10 lists with the green screen, I've got to have a background video, do all the scroll buys, all that crap. Those end up taking a wee bit longer to edit, let me tell you. But they're worth it. I mean, they come out looking so much better. Um, like I mentioned in the last couple episodes, uh, I want to do another Ramen Raider diet video. I want to do a how to identify how to cook things from the packaging. There are certain rules of thumb. It's funny because I've seen some really, really, how should I put this, 
completely wrong uh, assumptions people have made about instant noodles and their preparation on uh, the ramen junkies group. It's like, if it's this way, then you add two cups of water and you do this and that and the other thing. No, no. First thing you want to do is look at the picture on the packaging. If there's no water, that means you don't make it soupy. That's always a thing. If it's on a plate and it's flat, it's not a soup. Unless whoever did the package design is an absolute moron. And luckily, there aren't many of those in the instant noodle industry. Not many. Um, and, well, that's all I'll say about that. I might do another thing with uh, different sauces and condiments and things and garnishes. Uh, maybe a top 10 easy to find. Definitely need to do Taiwan, spicy. I might do Hong Kong, but I think I already did one of those this year. Oh, the USA list. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so. Here's our Kylo brand noodle. Looks like a noodle. I'm sure it'll taste like a noodle. Wow, for a second there, I'm pretty sure that was just another piece of the noodle block, uh, the noodle powder that didn't work right. But it looked for a se like a second, I saw a wolfberry, and wolfberry, that's a nice little add in. That's premium! They're kind of like, almost like mini raisins. They're, they're not bad. They add a little bit of something, something. But you're not gonna find one like, something like that. This is definitely an economy brand. At least an economy range of this Kylo brand. I don't know if they do premium stuff. I really don't know much of anything about Kylo brand. I think they probably do private label. Noodle has an incongruous nature that doesn't want to like, it's not <sighs> kind of rubbery, not especially good. That's funny because I remember I really loved this brand of one variety I had. I want to say I had this like 10 years ago and I loved it. But 10 years ago, I'd only tried like a couple hundred varieties. Uh, soup is really nothing to write home about either. It's not bad. If you're looking for a chicken noodle, this will this will float your boat. But it's not like you're gonna go in a, you're not going for an ocean cruise that's COVID free in this puppy. I'm not saying, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. There's no COVID in this. There's no COVID in this noodle. However, it's not like you're going on a wonderful all expenses paid ocean cruise because I wouldn't I wouldn't do that if you begged me hop on a boat dude I'll give you a free cruise no uh, I don't want to be off the shore of the Dominican Republic sitting there sneezing and barfing don't go on a freaking boat right now what are you stupid God Many people are stupid. I don't, I don't, I don't see why they have to be. But some people are like, I'm gonna do what I want to do because I want to do it. God damn it! No, they just do it and they'll screw themselves up. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mimi. It's Mimi. I love She's over. Oh, don't be up there. You're gonna fall off and crack your crown. And we don't want that. Mm -mm, no, sir. The last of the eggs, which is perfect for a Friday. Come on, egg. Oh, damn it. Out of the kitchen. Too hot out here. 
Oh, the middle of the egg decided to hop out and, and break. I am really getting sick of our local eggs. It's like, due to COVID, we've decided to feed our chickens cardboard and their eggs come out absolutely worthless. Cardboard chicken. It's just, I swear to God, that's probably what they must be doing. I don't know. My buddy, uh, Stumpy from Little Rock, he used to work on a chicken farm. No fooling. And uh, he told me like, yeah, the quality of the egg is based on what you feed the chicken. It's like, you get out what you put in. It's like, okay, that totally is logical. If you feed a chicken nothing but chicken, that's, well, that's just gross. You shouldn't do that. And you know, you see packages with smiling chickens and it's chicken. That's kind of weird too, I gotta say. Chickens aren't smiling when they're getting their heads cut off. They're like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how smart chickens are, but I know they don't want to be tortured or killed. But I do like meat, so I don't know what to tell you. I'm I'm a hyperbole of uh, hypocrisy right now, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shut up about chickens and eggs and a little shichimi. Shichimi. And we got a plug-in rotato. Sorry, rotato. Looks like during the evening you got unplugged. That's not your your favorite thing. Rotato has needs. Rotato has dreams. <laughs> pardon me. And pardon Rotato. Let's see. Yeah. 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 What? No. I don't know. So the next one, by the way, thank you for watching. The next one is going to be this. Ooh, the lolly. What is this? Uh, it's right side up. This is New Touch Chicken Shio Ramen, and this is a primo one. This is fancy, fancy, schmancy. This came by way of 5 a.m. ramen. You can go to instantramen.jp. Rad, rad TLD, buddy. And, uh... If you buy something, use the coupon code TheRamenRater. Get yourself a discount, fool! Alright, have a good one. Bye.